This is for going over the syllabus and getting you orientated to the class. My office hours are going to be Mondays from 2.30 to 5 and Fridays from noon to 5 and mostly I'll be answering emails and grading papers and stuff like that. Emails michaelpeters at kirtland.edu, it's all on the syllabus. And the textbook is going to be online, it's going to be in the modules. You can also go to the University of Minnesota and I'll give you that link if you want the online version in its full format. But it's a few years old and so I'm updating it as I put it into the modules. If you want a physical copy of the textbook, we can order you one through a library or I'll give you the ISBN. You can go pick it up for yourself or have Amazon deliver it, you know, these days. Canvas is compatible with Chrome and Firefox. It's not really compatible with Internet Explorer, or at least I've had problems with it. So if you have the option to download the Chrome browser, that's probably the best thing to do because you'll have a hard time attaching uh, things to Canvas with Internet Explorer. My specialization is educational psychology, and while I'm pretty thoroughly trained in how to teach, this online stuff is a little new to me, so you have to bear with me a little bit. So there might not be as much um, structure, but you'll also find a lot of freedom in the way that you do assignments. I want you to be thinking creatively about how to finish these assignments, and to get you thinking creatively, I might give you a little more freedom than you're used to. Course description is from the catalog. A lot of this is just a form that I fill out. So it's going to essentially be universal among all the classes you take here, because it's a form that we fill out. Technical support attendance policy. There's a certain number of hours that I need you to work in order to attain my accreditation, so I'm going to give you a lot of videos to watch. Um, there's things you have to do offline, like take personality tests. Mostly, though, I do try to make the assignments as fun and interesting as I can. And if you find one that's totally boring, let me know, because I'll, I'll work on it. It's what I do. Weekly agenda. There's going to be a quiz roughly every week. And they're going to span a lot of different formats because I want to also, while we're doing this, give you some experiential strategies on, like, for example, how to answer multiple choice tests, true and false tests, essay tests. If you've ever seen someone who can just walk into a classroom without ever having experienced the class before or any knowledge of the content and able to ace that test because it's a multiple choice test, I'm going to give you strategies on how they do that. Because it's something that A students learn how to do, and it's not specifically taught. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's called frenzy panics, and I don't expect anyone to have ever heard that before, but there's an actual science on how to take multiple choice tests and discern the answers from just the test itself. Grading is going to be a normal plus minus system that you should have everywhere else. I tend to not cancel classes, but that shouldn't even be a problem here because I just put everything online anyway. Uh, active learning, yeah, you'll, you'll just experience that. You won't even know you're doing it. Class disruption, be nice to each other in the, in the discussion boards. You know. Financial aid, ethical conduct. If you're, if you're, you know what that means. Just be nice. Uh, plagiarism. Okay, so on the quizzes that you have to do for me, and the assignments, it really actually would cost a lot more work for you to plagiarize than just to do it yourself. A lot of these are just opinion pieces. Um, we'll get into assignments in just a second so we get to the bottom of the syllabus. If you have any accommodations you need me to know about to, to make accommodations, let me know, because I will certainly do what I can to find out. But things like extra time on tests, you don't have to worry about that because there's no test limits. I'm educational psychology, so I give all these accommodations just anyway. Um, but again, if you need something, let me know, and I'll probably figure out a way to do it. Sexual misconduct, don't do it. You know, know what that is. And if you have a problem with me that you don't want to bring up with me, you can always complain to my boss. She'll listen. She'll tell me. Um, and then core competencies. Now this is something that all Kirtland teachers have to have in their assignments. We have to find a way to assess you on six standards, they're really just standards, that we think will help you in your professional and personal life in the future. So we're looking for ways to incorporate these into our classes, even though the material isn't specifically content material. And you'll get them in every class and we'll assess you on them but it's not for a grade, so it really doesn't affect you at all. It's more a matter of how we're teaching and what we're putting into the class. That being said, when you do your presentation at the end, and I'll go over that in just a second, um, these six competencies are the rubric that we'll be using to 
upgrade you on that. And they actually make a pretty good rubric, so we'll go over that in a second. Okay, assignments. For this class, what I'm going to want you to do is I've given you kind of a lot of videos to watch and not so much to read, but there is stuff to read out there. And what I want you to do is while you're reading and watching these videos and listening to a lecture or whatnot, whatever questions pop into your head, that's what I want you to write down. Something that I should probably be going into more depth or something that just doesn't even make sense. And we'll cover it and we'll probably discuss them. Just go ahead and put four questions into one discussion field and we'll count that as a week. And then every week we'll have you do four questions each. And if it makes a discussion, it's good. If it doesn't, then no worry about it. Um, if I make you think about questions that pop into your head, well, it personalizes it for you a little bit, which is good for memory. And that way I know that there's some, some stuff rolling around in the back of your head for later. Because this material isn't just for me to teach you and then you take a test. My goal in this is to actually, you know, show you how people work. It'll be based on people in your real life. that you've, you've experienced this stuff. And that will help you learn it because then you have something to attach it to. Because most classes, I mean, they just give you the information. You put it into a file. You take the test. When the test is over, you know, there goes the file. This stuff, you can actually say, oh, yeah, my parents do that. Why does my little brother do that? But you're right, he does. That's a really good way to argue. Anyway, uh, when we get to Freud, he just loved argue and he has some ways to argue. But my goal in this is to make the material applicable to your life because really that's the only way you'll actually remember this stuff. It isn't just out there in the middle of nowhere by itself because there's, because it's very difficult to remember something when you've only got one road to it. But if you've got a whole bunch of different roads to it that you experience in your real life daily, then yeah, you'll remember it quite a bit better. That's assignments. One per week, four questions per week. And then give me a little three sentence summary on what it is that you actually did. What, what you thought about, what you learned, how you, how you thought about it. Ooh, your opinion on the material. That's great. So three sentences on your opinion on what, what was covered. And we'll call that good. One per week, we'll put that into the assignments. Now, quizzes. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of quizzes. There's a couple of essay questions. There's some multiple choice. There's a true false. They'll start out pretty darn easy and they'll work to be harder so I build you up toward the final. And the final is going to be pretty tough. Mm, yeah. Um, but if you have less than an 85-90% going into the final, it means you probably haven't turned something in. So it's not that these quizzes are extraordinarily tough, because the final is what's going to be really tough. Um, but the class is designed that if you do totally bomb the final, it's not going to kill your grade. You're not going to fail the class because you fail the final. That's why there's so many little assignments building up to the final, so many question assignments, is because I don't want people to miss the final and then totally fail the class, but I do have to have it in there somewhere. And while I'm giving you these tests, these true, false, multiple choice, and essay question tests, I will be actually showing you how to take them so that you can use those strategies in the future when you take multiple choice tests, true, false tests, essay tests in the future. And it should happen so naturally that you don't even realize you're doing it. Most of my quizzes are going to be no time limit. A couple of them you can take a couple of times. Um, on them, you can use any resources you can use in real life. Because if I make you just memorize stuff and take the test, I'm just going to be testing your memory. So the questions are built up so that you can't quite cheat because you have to actually be thinking about this stuff. In fact, if you go on to like Quizlet or something and you see a question, be very careful of it because I can take a Quizlet question, change a little bit of it, and make it wrong. So if you're just looking up the answer online, yeah, there's probably going to be a better answer in there somewhere. So be careful of that. In this class, you're going to be learning educational life skills and that's one of them. But there is also an entire chapter devoted to memory, so there's that too. If you have a question, or a question on a question, I want you to talk to me, I want you to email me, I want you to argue it. I do want you to argue for your, for your rights. I want you to stand up for yourself in education. So I welcome you to argue your questions and comments and concerns. Most of the assignments are up there. The psychoactive quiz isn't quite active yet because I have to go through and take out the fill in the blanks. Because fill in the blanks are just terrible in online classes, I've learned. Because if it's not spelled exactly correctly or exactly how I wanted it, it'll count as wrong. And then I got to go through and grade each individual question 